My name's Brett, and I'm an astronomer here at Mount Tromb Observatory, and I also work at the Center for Public Awareness of Science. And so, you know, I'm a scientist, I'm not a science communicator by trade, but I love the influence of science and science communication, but also how science fiction comes into play. Um, it's not like a, a one-way relationship. It's a really a symbiotic relationship. Science can be impacted and influence science fiction, but it's the other way around. Science fiction influences the science. But there's also the impact on society, both how that piece of fiction comes into play and what society learns from it and what preconceived notions they have about the science. And it's important to understand these issues. Um, so I actually worked on a movie called Alien Covenant, um, done by Ridley Scott, and it was a really cool experience. And when I was approached by it, they said, hey, we want to get as many details as right as possible, minus, you know, any aliens really in there. We don't really know any aliens. Uh, and, and so I, I took the chance and we did some modeling of, of the rocket engine that's really modeled on a new rocket that we're building here at ANU, a plasma thruster engine. And then it started to make me think, a lot of these cool new projects that we're doing have actually been thought about or fueled by these ideas in science fiction. So if we move to a, a science fiction realm where it's only modeling the current science that we've done, are we going to stifle creativity? Um, are we going to stifle s perceptions of science? Uh, and this is what I want to explore and what we're going to explore in SciComm 2.003, 6.003. Um, the relationship that science and science fiction has on each other, but also society, the scientists, the people, um, because this is how people get their science. And whether we like it or not, as science communicators, we need to be aware of this. Um, so we're going to explore this and a whole lot more.